welcome to FSA YouTube channel. I'm Teacher Emmy and I'll be teaching inequality and absolute value. But before anything else, kindly hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get updated with our latest video. Inequality. A statement that the two numbers are not equal is called inequality. For example, we have 3 and 5. They are different numbers and they are not equal. So we can write that inequality as 3 is not equal to 5. So when two numbers are not equal, one must be smaller than the other or one must be larger than the other. So, we can say that 3 is less than 5. And that inequality symbol can be read as less than. We also have 5 is greater than 3. And that inequality symbol can be read as greater than. Alright? Aside from that, we can also have 3 is less than or equal to 5. And that inequality symbol can be read as less than or equal to. And that is still true because 3 is less than 5. Alright? Another, we have 3 is greater than or equal to 3. And that inequality symbol can be read as greater than or equal to. And that's still true because 3 is equal to 3. Alright? Now, let's try to use a number line to represent an inequality. Take note, a number that is located on the left side of another number is smaller and a number that is located to the right of another number is larger. Alright? So, let's have the first one, negative 5 and negative 2. So, let's try to plot them on the number line. Negative 5 is there and negative 2 is there. So, as you can see, negative 5 is located on the left side of negative 2. And that means negative 5 is smaller than negative 2. So, we will use the inequality symbol less than. Alright, negative 5 is less than negative 2. Another, we have 3 and negative 4. So, negative 4 is there and 3 is there. So, as you can see, 3 is located on the right side of negative 4. And that means 3 is larger than negative 4. So, we will use the inequality symbol greater than. 3 is greater than negative 4. Alright? So, let's try to have some activity. All you have to do is to choose between greater than or less than and put it on the circle to make the statement correct. Alright? The first one, we have negative 6 and negative 8. So, shall we use greater than or less than? The correct answer is greater than. Negative 6 is greater than negative 8. Alright? Next, we have negative 21 and negative 57. Is it greater than or less than? The answer is greater than. Negative 21 is greater than negative 57. Alright, next, we have negative 99 and negative 89. Is it greater than or less than? The correct answer is less than. Negative 99 is less than negative 89. Alright, next one we have 
137 and negative 124. So what is the correct symbol? Inequality symbol. Is it greater than or less than? Alright, the correct answer is greater than. 137 is greater than negative 124. Okay, so next activity, we are given an inequality and a set of choices. So all you have to do is to choose which among them can satisfy the given inequality. Alright, the first one we have x is greater than negative 32. So, what must be the values of x that will satisfy the given inequality? Alright, the correct answer here is 21 and negative 11. Alright, they are both greater than negative 32. Alright, next, we have x is less than or equal to 25. And here are the choices. So, which among them is less than or equal to 25? The correct answer here is negative 13 and 25. Alright. Next, we have y is greater than or equal to negative 90. And here are the choices. So, which among them is greater than or equal to negative 90? The correct answer is negative 86. Alright, and that's all about inequality. Let's move on to absolute value. So, what is the absolute value of 5? The absolute value of 5 is 5. How about the absolute value of negative 5? The absolute value of negative 5 is 5. They are two different numbers, positive 5 and negative 5, but their absolute value is the same. So let's try to find out what is absolute value. The absolute value of a number is its distance from 0 on the number line. So that means we don't have negative numbers because it's a distance. Alright, so the absolute value of any number is equal to positive numbers or zero. Alright, so let's try to use number line to represent the absolute value of 5 and negative 5. Let's have first positive 5 and 5 is 5 units away from 0. That's why the absolute value of 5 is 5. How about negative 5? Negative 5 is there. And it is 5 units away from 0. So that means the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. Alright? So let's have a concrete definition of absolute value. The absolute value of a positive number is the number itself. The absolute value of 0 is 0. The absolute value of a negative number is the opposite of the negative number. In terms of symbol, we have the absolute value of x is equal to x if x is less than 0. 0 if x is equal to 0, x if x is greater than 0. So that means when we have the absolute value of, let's say, negative 3, the answer must be positive 3. The absolute value of 0 is 0, and the absolute value of positive 3 is still positive 3. All right? So let's try this activity. I will spin the wheel and wherever it stops, we will get the absolute value. Alright? So let's start. Alright, 64. What is the absolute value of 64? The answer is 64. 
All right, next one we have seven. What is the absolute value of seven? It's correct, seven. All right, next. Negative 45. So what is the absolute value of negative 45? The answer is 45. That's correct. Next. Seven again. Oh, let's try another one. Negative 100. What is the absolute value of negative 100? The answer is positive 100. All right, let's have the last one. It's negative 51. So what is the absolute value of negative 51? The answer is positive 51. All right, and that's all about absolute value. I hope you learn a lot from this video. For more exercises, kindly click the link below. Alright, don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you get updated with our latest videos. Alright, bye!